yeah good morning all now i am going to explain about transformers see here this is a constructional view of a transformer okay now see here here the definition of a transformer is transformer is a static device right there is no rotating part in case of transformer transformer is a static device which transfer power from one circuit to another circuit see here this is one circuit here it is another circuit okay transformer which transfer power from one circuit to another circuit by changing voltage levels and current levels power and frequency should be constant now see here for example let us consider the primary winding of a transformer voltage will be 200 volts secondary winding of a voltage will be 100 volts okay high voltage side primary is high voltage side secondary is low voltage side now see here high voltage side the magnitude of current will be 10 amperes then power will be 200 into 10 2000 volt amperes always transformer rating in volt amperes next similarly secondary side low voltage side the rated current will be 20 amperes again power will be 100 into 20 2000 volt amperes now see here high voltage said the magnitude of voltage is low low voltage said the magnitude of current is high that means transformer is a static device that means stationary device which transfer power from one circuit to another circuit by changing voltage levels and current levels see here the 200 by 100 volts transformer this is then 200 volts said current rating will be 10 amperes 100 volts said current rating will be 20 amperes voltage levels and current levels are changes but power should be constant and frequency also should be constant okay that is the definition of a transformer now see here in case of transformer these two windings are magnetically coupled that means see here when ac supply is given this is primary winding this is secondary winding primary winding is nothing but the winding which is connected to the supply is nothing but a primary winding the winding which is connected across a load is nothing but secondary winding now see here when ac supply is given to the primary winding then current i is flowing into the primary winding because of this current i flux phi will be produced in transformer core flux phi will be produced in transformer core this is flux phi now see here when ac supply is given flux phi is produced right that means in case of transformer two windings are magnetic that means there is a magnetic relation between primary winding and secondary winding right that means these two windings are magnetically coupled but electrically isolated electrically isolated means there is no wire connection between primary to secondary okay that means in case of transformer two windings are electrically isolated and magnetically coupled okay now see here if we consider total transformer input is electrical energy next output is also electrical energy right no energy conversion in case of transformer if we consider total process suppose if we consider this internal process if we consider this internal process here input is electrical here it is magnetic form next here it is magnetic form and output is again electrical that means electrical to magnetic and magnetic to again electrical that means in complete transformer no energy conversion takes place if we consider internal process okay it is a electromagnetic energy conversion device okay next now see here this primary winding is having n1 number of turns secondary winding is having n2 number of turns based upon number of turns if number of turns are more that is a high voltage transformer if number of turns are less that is a sorry if number of turns are more that is a high voltage winding if number of turns are less that is a low voltage winding based upon number of turns also we can say that high voltage winding and low voltage winding that means from that relation e2 assume secondary induced emf e1 assume primary induced emf that is e2 by e1 is equals to n2 by n1 that means induced emf is depends upon number of turns okay when induced emf is more number of turns will be more if induced emf is less number of turns also less next coming to working principle okay transformer works based upon the faraday's law of electromagnetic induction okay transformer works based upon faraday's law of 
electromagnetic induction. Now see here, according to Faraday's law, whenever there is a relative space variation or time variation, okay, between set of conductors and magnetic field. See here, these are the conductors, this is a magnetic field, right? Whenever there is a relative space or or time variation between set of conductors and magnetic field, EMF will be induced, okay? In case of DC generator, there is a space variation between set of conductors and magnetic field. There, set of conductors are rotating, magnetic field is stationary. But in case of transformer, now, now see here, these are the conductors, right? Conductors are stationary, magnetic field is here, it is moving, alternating magnetic field, right? Now see here, whenever there is a relative time variation between this set of conductors and this magnetic field, okay? Hence, EMF will be induced. That EMF is known as statically induced EMF. That EMF is known 